Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is the channel that highlights and things of that nature will be on. Uh, don't forget, we also got good merch. You get me. Um, and we got the Patreon. We post here Monday through Friday. Um, this is everything, the current lineup that's on there. Even videos that can't get posted to YouTube that get blocked, such as Traffic Cops and PR Special. So on there, anything, man. The link to all of this is down below in the description. Just hit more than click. Hit link tree. All of that will pop up for you. Uh, let's get into this, man. This is Ape Honcho, man. This is my boy, Ape Honcho, man. Go ahead, hit that young like button, man. Man tries to recreate Columbine mass shooting. Like, in the UK. Like, what is... Huh? This is really... Like, this is what I be talking about when I be like, it's... Powerful. It's real weird people in the world. Holding you. This is overly weird. St. Lawrence. That's a... Monday, November 28th, 2022, and officers from the Avon and Somerset Police are arriving at a property on Wick Road in Wick St. Lawrence. That's a village that sits just outside of Western Supermare in the southwest of England. They're being called to the address due to receiving intel that a man living there has been ordering multiple rounds of blank firing ammunition and has been ordering blank firing guns online. Now, for anyone wondering, it isn't illegal to own said items in the UK. But some blank firing guns can be converted yeah. into firearms that shoot live ammunition. And that's a major concern. Yeah, they can convert them. Turn for police forces across the UK. So it isn't surprising that sometimes they turn up at people's doors asking questions. They don't do this with every purchase though. You see, certain transactions are flagged for whatever reason. And on November 28th, 2022, that's exactly what happened. Hey, Poncho does some really good work. Are you Reed? No. Does Reed live here? Yeah. Is he in? Yeah, he's in. Do you mind if we come in and have a chat with him? Is that alright? Yeah. Where is he? In the moment. Where, sorry? Bed. He's in bed, is he? Is he your son? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to go and wake him up? As a father, like if I put myself in his shoes, his father, I'd, I'd be terrified. I'd, I'd not terrified. I'd be disappointed. But I'd be glad the police did their job for sure. Save me the embarrassment. Save a bunch of lives. Um, put bro in jail. Me, I would disown my child. I don't care. Don't do nothing dumb. Like dumb. Like this is a crime that would like this would get you disowned. I don't even know you no more. Put something on your books? No. Some information, that's all. Right, right. That's all right. Do you want to speak to us, speak to us alone, or do you want to go? Yeah, I'll speak to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, we've had some information, um, that at some point you've purchased some top venting guns. 
Have you still got these guns? Oh, I've got one. Yeah? Do you want to have a look? Just, 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 just one second, Reid, 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 just hold on a second. Just let us come with you, okay? Yeah, just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Reid, Reid. Do you reckon it's down there, do you, Reid? Yeah, he, whatever y'all was accusing him of, he was definitely going to do it. Look at this room. This is one of them rooms. This is one of those guys. This is how them type dudes, these, these, these words right here, they rooms be like this, and P-E-D-O rooms be like this. Look at his bed. Oh my days. The hub still up on the screen is crazy. Down there somewhere. Yeah? Yeah, around there. Oh, there it is. Where did you get the police body armor from? Oh, I got that years ago. Because that is actual police body armor. Yeah. Where did you get it? I got it years ago, 2013. Right, okay. Oh, okay. Do you need to keep that? Yeah. You do need to keep it too. Okay. Got to leave no, but I'm just wondering. It's a cause of concern when they say outside. Yeah. Do you ever wear it outside? No, I don't. You just have it as like a mental idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even if it's gone, have you got it? If someone assumes you're a police officer, it's Yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I was allowed to keep that. So, what are you doing with all this stuff? Huh? Why have you got all this stuff? Why are you doing with it? What, what am I doing with what? Well, what are you doing with it? Well, I'm sure there's other people that are there, so there's nothing illegal about it. The reason, the reason I think it's suspicious is because we do get incidents where you get police officers pose, and, and you know, you get incidents where people pose as police officers and they commit crime. Yeah. But also, the stuff, so you've got like the hand grenade with the bottom drawer, right? Yeah, and then we're looking around and there's bags of all bearings, and there's like keys to break into places. Just go ahead and take him to jail. I don't even, like, go ahead. They're masterpiece, that's what I locked you to get off. And you know that, because when I, when I told, when I said, you realised that I knew what they were. And then you've got like, all these different component parts for all these different guns. And you've already you've, modified you've made that. That was years ago, man. I, what, I wanted to get rid of that, and I forgot where I put that. Right, you see but, that. There's, but there's all this stuff. That, if I just walked into a house and just found it, I might be thinking, what's this person up to? I wonder what this house smells like or that room smells like. There's nothing actually illegal what I've done. I never I never harmed anyone, I've never threatened anyone. I've been honest. Yeah. 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 Have we got any OSTs on James right now? No. Um, we've come to a premises. Um, See, he reaching for that little jacket over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they checking it. Can we go to the first? Um, don't play downstairs. Um, yeah. Which one's a toilet, Reed? Really? Can I go to the toilet first? As he's going to the toilet, he's drinking a mini Pepsi. I, I, I would have followed him too. I don't believe you. You just straight in and out, like like in and out immediately. Sorry. Check the bathroom, y'all.
I told y'all to go to the bathroom with bro. He went to the bathroom and got to dumping. I not and not number two. He got to dumping that number nine iron. I already knew what was happening. Two men and a truck moves south. Hey, it's crazy. Now I'm a reaction channel and I hey listen. Whoa, they popped dude. He slid down seven flights of stairs. I know he let that Glock go. That armed police officer, he let that go. Come on. It's clear from the body no, count. Go back. I'm not dead. So this is a this is a trained armed officer. He didn't hear that. He didn't hear that. Right there. Then he went down the stairs when he shot one. Wait, don't wait, don't. Oh, they let off several rounds. I thought he would just let off that one, but his buddy let off two, three next it's clear from the body cam footage that 32-year-old Reed Wishhusen was on edge during the interaction with police. And it seems as if officers didn't quite catch that. Take a look at this. Nah, bro. Remember he reached out his jacket? He has something in that jacket. It's part of the body cam. Talk to me. Look. Yeah, he gonna reach for the jacket. Um, we've come... I peeped that. Of course, it's easy for me to peep because I'm watching in a video. I guess when they on the scene and they, they just didn't realize it. I would have been watching him like a hawk. We we here for suspicion of things and of this nature. Reed attempts to feel for the gun that's concealed within his jacket. If he had more time, then maybe, just maybe, he would have pulled it out at that point and aimed it towards officers. After a search of the house, police discovered that Reed had been in possession of police body armor, master keys, ammunition, <laughs> firearms, and tools that could wow. be used to modify guns to make them lethal. So the next step following this search would of course be a chat down the police station. However, as you just witnessed, Reed asked to go to the restroom before leaving. Just moments after... It was just so many signs. I, I had already seen this coming. I had already peeped the jacket touch. And then I had already peeped him drinking something and going to the bathroom. Who does that? Nobody drinks as they go to the bathroom. There's no cap. That was, it was cap. Closing the restroom door, the sound of a gun cop is heard, followed by a single shot. Police didn't even clock the gun clock cop. That's how... That's how little they these police are trained, but they're not even realizing what's going on right under their nose. That's tough. The armed response units drew their weapons. They were ready for a potential shootout. Reed had opened fire on himself. Ultimately, the bullet did make contact, but he survived. The bullet ended up being lodged behind his right ear. After he survived uh, his own shot, he walked out of the restroom and aimed his gun at officers, which forced them to open fire. He was hit three more times. He didn't survive that. Down to earth. You call that a uh, suicide by police. Like he did that on purpose because he was already going to go take himself out of the bathroom. But 
He couldn't do it, so the police, he had the police do it for him. And very shy, enjoy 80s and 90s songs, love old Resident Evil, Silent Hill soundtracks. This is how Reed described himself on Facebook. One look at his profile, that's partially public, shows a relatively normal person. In fact, most of the posts... Let me see it. ...consist of Reed. For my birthday this year, I'm asking for donations to the National Rheumatoid Arthritis Society. I've chosen this nonprofit because their mission Attempting means a lot to me. Attempting to raise money for okay. various charities. Reed is also spotted in the comment section on various Avon and Somerset police posts. He comments on different situations. Some people who just possess a class A for personal use usually get one to three years, give or take. But taking over someone's flat and dealing, it should have been a lot more as he causes harm to others. So why then? Why did this little warehouse employee, a relatively normal person, I wonder if he's ever commented on a video of mine person who sided with the law turn on firearms officers on that day in November of 2022. Well, with what we know up until now, the evidence suggests that he was trying to dodge a potential lengthy prison sentence after being caught with converted blank firing weapons. But as the investigation started to develop, police took a deep dive into Reed's computer and it was here, ladies and gentlemen, that something much darker was discovered. Revenge. Yes, revenge is on my mind. It's a powerful motivator. Be nice to get back at the people who caused me stress and worry over the years. It's been eating away at my brain like cancer. Yes, thinking I'll start from primary school. The what boy? Yes, he grabbed hold of me and pinned me against the wall for no reason. I know partially who he is, plus chased me around the school. Soon I'll be chasing him down with a silenced pistol. This is how Reed opened up a four-page document where he speaks of going on a murderous ramp. Mm. Man got bullied in school and he was trying to get his get back. See, this is why I tell y'all, don't bully people, man. Don't bully people because you never know. You never know what you're doing to somebody's mental health, man. Page. If you feel the need to bully somebody, go, go talk to somebody because... Something's going on within your home structure where you feel like that's what the only thing you can do, your outlet, and that ain't it. At some point in the future. Following his opening statement, Reed explains that he's going to carry out a Hitman-style attack with a silenced handgun, targeting 10 people who have wronged him in the past. Those include old classmates who he said had bullied him and the teachers who allowed it to happen and a1 and somerset police officers who had rejected his application for a firearms license on two separate occasions for those of you who for aren't good aware, reason, you too. can legally own a firearm in the uk but it's a long process in order to get one various checks are made when a dying family friend stayed with us for a year, he got me into clay shooting, and so I applied for a shotgun certificate. 2009, firearms inquiry officer blank stated that I've got learning difficulties, childlike views of the world, that I'm unable to handle rejection, and obsess over it. I'm not gonna lie, Reed, Reese, whatever your name is, his, his breakdown was very correct. 2010, Firearms Inquiry Officer Blank said I was obsessed with the Firearms Act. You can't f***ing win in this world. The document also showed that Reed looked up to UK mass shooter Thomas Hamilton, the man who killed 18 people, mostly children, at the Dunblane Primary School. It's Blank who refused me twice. I'll show him. I've got his home address. I'm going to waste him. I'll let the other firearms inquiry officers go. Let them have survivor's guilt. It worked brilliant for Thomas Hamilton. The last morning before the Dunblane shootings, he moved next door to the scoutmaster who kicked him out. He was to give him a paper in the morning and wave him goodbye before the shootings took place. This triggered survivor's guilt, the ultimate mind control. The document would go on to say that after the Hitman-style attack took place, Reed was going to carry out a school shooting at his old school, followed by an attack on police headquarters. He said that this part of the attack would be inspired by the Columbine school shooting in the United States. Minor symptom. <laughs> Hit I understand, yeah, mental stuff going on. He had a lot of past trauma, but... My statement still stands, weirdo.
We found stuff that was really concerning. Chemicals, what appeared to be explosives, firearms, ammunition. So we needed the military to come and help us make some of those items safe. We needed to get a range of experts, explosives and ballistic experts to come to the scene to make it safe for the local community. And to You know what I now what I will say when they shot when they unalived him on in the staircase in America they would have emptied the clip. He would have had forty bullet. He would have had forty holes in him. They only did enough to like render him incapacitate, whatever the word is. Cover them to an evidential standard so that they could be examined, so we could understand what Mister Wishusen was about. It was clear to DCI Doofle and his team that at some point in the near future, Reed was going to go ahead with this plan. To what success, if any, remains unclear. Remember, all of the firearms that would have been used in the incident were essentially homemade. There was one slight issue, though. Even though police had this mountain of evidence against Reed, he was in a coma fighting for his life after being shot by police. Oh, he didn't even... However, just okay. four months on from the shooting, and surprisingly, he made a full recovery. He managed to survive. Without That's crazy. Out of all people, they, they a higher power spirit. This guy's life. That's tough. But life changing injuries. It was time to take him in for questioning. Onto a homemade firearm, exhibited as four eight eight three Juliet Whiskey One. Henry, what can you tell us about that homemade one? What's dying as a homemade firearm? Yeah, it's homemade. Okay. Is that the submachine gun that you're referring to? Yes. The one mm -hmm. that was under the bed yeah. in bits? Yeah. Okay. So when you left it in your bedroom, was it, because it, it looks like it's, it just looks like it's been put together. Mm -hmm. um, was that how you last left it in that kind of? I don't know. I don't know, okay. But this is something that you, this is the one, the weapon that you referred to in your first interview. Yeah, that that's, that's the pride and joy. That's the pride and joy, yeah. okay. I, yo, I hope they gave him life. Because uh, he still don't seem right. Is it your pride and joy? Because it's the first one. First one you made, yeah. <laughs> okay. So how many bullets were you planning? Because I don't know, in, in amongst all this, I don't know how many made up bullets we got. I can refer to... BRM 11, one in the chamber, two in the magazine, okay. one in your head. Okay. But I, but how many do you think you were gonna, what was your plan? How many are you gonna make? Cause it seems like there's, looking at that box, how many do you think you could make? A uh, thousand rounds. A thousand rounds of nine mil. Wow. Okay. Was that, forgive me, was that your intention to make a thousand rounds or was it just that you've got enough there to make a thousand rounds? Well, uh, ultimately get a thousand rounds. Sorry, sorry. Ultimately get a thousand rounds. Ultimately get a thousand rounds, yeah. But that was your intention, to make a yeah. thousand rounds. Yeah. And with all this, the different component parts of these bullets, could you make bullets to go into different guns? Uh, yes, the shotgun cartridges. Shotgun cartridges. But, but no, shotgun cartridges are not restricted in possession. Yeah. So no shotgun stuff is required for it. Okay. So you could make shotgun cartridges? Yeah. Obviously the ones that go into BRM-11. Yeah. What about the... Um, Machine gun. Yeah, that's nine mil. So you could make nine mils also go into yeah. the machine gun. Yeah. So is this pure fantasy, Reed, or is this something that at some point was going to snap in your? Look at this guy laughing about it. <laughs> like, yo, life him. Forget about it. Your head. <clears throat> I'm not saying that you could have done all of this, but is this something that you think you were going to do? No, something? put him in a mental institution because then they could really do life. Because, like, you got to give somebody a real sentence in, for HMP or Her Majesty's Prison. But, like, for, for for like, the psychiatric wards, you can hold them as long as until you see fit. <laughs> so, you could be in there for life. If, in Somewhere. there. No. Because when you read it, and it's in black and white, bearing in mind it's a school attack. Bear in mind this. Give him this real sentence. Give him 10 years or however much y'all going to give him. And then make it a... Then finish his sentence at psychiatric ward. And when they say, which could be another 20, 30. An attack on police headquarters. It, bear in mind what we've seen. Oh, all the man teeth loose? Terrifying. So, 
He took four or five bullets. So you still standing by? This is just fantasy. fantasy. Yes. And this, and recording this, is it? Is it therapeutic? Does it help you? Yes, it's therapeutic. And in terms of the Priory School, when was the last time you went to the Priory School? When I left. When you left. You've not been back since. No. So you've not been back there to escape, escape things out, or look at look at things, or you've not gone beyond fantasy. No. And we're dealing with something very serious here. So no, you could play the straight back to fantasy here all day. But we want to know if this is something that's really sinister. It's almost just a fantasy. I don't believe it. Is there any reason then why you were recording this in a like in a revenge document type journal, but also getting the stuff as well? Because that's where I struggle to feel that this is just fantasy. We're actually getting some of the stuff. And we're not talking about bars of chocolate, we're talking about a machine gun and some quite serious things here. No comment. And have you got any kind of fantasy with mass shootings and you know, we get lots of American sort of mass shootings? Any, any kind I've seen of fantasy? I've, I've seen a few documentaries. I say fantasy, any sort of interest or any macabre sort of interest in that sort of thing? A little bit, yeah. And you talk about Thomas Hamilton. Would I be right in saying that's the Dumbling? No comment. Where children were shot? No comment. By Hamilton? No comment. Are you influenced by any of this no sort comment. of stuff? Does that cloud your thinking? No comment. Smart comment enough to say no comment, so good. put him in real no. jail for life then. And would you try and recreate something like what Hamilton's done? No. Shortly after police interviews, Reed was charged with having an explosive substance with intent to endanger life, possessing a firebomb with intent to endanger life, possessing ammunition with intent to endanger life, possessing a prohibited firearm without a certificate, possessing a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence, possessing a prohibited firearm, what, and what possessing was the ammunition sentence? without a firearm certificate. He would plead guilty to the last three offences but denied the other charges, and so he went on a 10-day trial in October of 2023. To sum up, Reed denied that he was about to commit a mass shooting in the near future and said the writings were just a fantasy, something to help with his mental health. Chemicals that could be used to build bombs were found at his home, but he told the jury that although he aspired to make them, he didn't because he lived too close to Bristol Airport. In the end, the jury would find him guilty right. on all charges. Right. It isn't difficult to see why that was. Right. And so it looks then as if the Avon and Somerset police successfully prevented a mass shooting incident from taking place. If I'm completely honest with you, I think the shooting would have happened by now. You see, according to DCI Simon Dufal, he said that during police interviews, Reed stated that a submachine gun he had been working on was just one weekend away from completion. And if we're going off the revenge document, that he wrote up, the submachine gun played a key role in the attack, so I wouldn't be surprised if the attack was close. That's it. Reed is due to be sentenced in the 15th. Oh, he's gonna be sentenced next in two months. Yeah. All right, I hope he gets life so keep him off because he's obviously one of those type of offenders that if you let him go with some light he gonna get out and try to pick up right where he left off i'm gone